Thanks for breaking me out of jail, Candy. No problem, but I think we better go inside. It's starting to rain. Really, really badly. Oh yeah, you're right, but where should we go? Don't worry, I have an idea. Follow me, and quickly, before it rains. Candy, out of all the places you picked, you picked this? Yeah, don't you remember this place? It's our house! Uh, I wish you picked something different. Well, it was either get wet or get the safety. <sighs> Fair point. Though, I wish we never came here. This place gives me bad memories. Well, why? Don't you remember this house? You used to be here as a child. Yeah, but this place just reminds me of something I don't want to talk about. Like what? <sighs> My past. Your past? What's wrong with your past? <sighs> You mean... Yes. Cabby. Cabby Edward Hollow. Y you mean the, the brother you... You murdered? The brother you killed? The... The brother that never got along with you? Candy? Am I a weakling? What? Am I a weakling? Is my life pointless? Have I been wasting my life just murdering people? Just murdering people? No, you're not a weakling. And your life, it's, it's not... It's not pointless. Then what am I supposed to do in my life now, Candy? What am I supposed to do now? The police took away my stuff. Everyone thinks I'm a murderer. And now, thanks to my past, I have nothing. Nothing at all. But, Tabby... No, listen to me, Candy. My whole childhood was spent getting beat up by my mean-like brother. And... And... And that's why... I never came to the Halloween party. He would always beat me up, call me names. He never ca cared about me. Nobody did. That's why they always call me the new guy. That's why I'll always be the Halloween murderer. The stupid, lifeless. Listen to me, brother. I know life's not perfect. And nobody's perfect. Not even my life is per perfect. But when life gets rough, you can't just cry about it. You can't just be sad your whole life just because something bad happened to you. Just because others are mean to me, you, doesn't mean you should give up. You should always pick yourself up and try again. Because... Tabby, you have someone to support you, and that person who is supporting you is me, Candy, Can Candy Tika Hollow, your sister, I'm a part of your family, and I'll always support you no matter what, and I just want you to know that you're not pointless. special it's 
It's okay, Debbie. We all have those moments. Oh, Candy. I such I had such a harsh childhood. I know. I know. My my brother was always mean. Candy. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm I'm here with you. <laughs> Maybe if you told me why you hate your brother so much, or why you killed him, or feel separated from the world, maybe I can understand more and help you better. But Candy, I thought you understood me. I do, brother. I do. But if I'm gonna help you more than ever, you're gonna have to tell the whole story about yourself. Listen, Debbie, I know you don't want to talk about it, but if I'm going to help you as your sister, maybe if you told me the whole story, I could get a full understanding of why you feel so separated from the world and why you think everybody defines yourself as a murderer. Please, I want to help you. Fine, I'll tell you the story. So, as we both know, Cabby Edward Hollow was the oldest brother in our family, and basically the meanest, with me being the youngest but more kinder, and you being the sister, the sister that's always there for me. Aw, thanks. We both had different personalities, but as brothers, if we had anything in common, it's that we both had a connection with scary stuff. Ugh, I don't like scary stuff. I know you don't, but still, I just like scary stuff. Scary stuff like what? Well, like monsters, and creepy pastas, and well, etc. And what are creepy pastas? Well, long story short, there are these games slash stories that give you nightmares. It's nice that you're telling me a little bit more about yourself, and your mean-like brother. Yeah, well, I mean, monsters and creepypastas are why Halloween's my favorite holiday. But please, I would like to know why you feel so upset towards your brother. So, one day... I found an invitation in the mailbox. An invitation? From who? And for what reason? It was from Froggy, the host of the party. He was inviting everyone to a Halloween party he was hosting. And so when I heard there was a Halloween party going on on October 25th, I was excited and I was getting prepared. What do you mean by getting prepared? Well, at first I was deciding what costume to wear, but in the end I decided to wear no costume at all. Just go it out as plain old me. Oh, well, okay. 
But, as we all know, the invite went to basically everyone, not just me. So, on the day of the party, I was, uh, late. But did anything happen at the party? Worse. Just as I was coming into the party, I was pushed right onto the side of the house. From there, my brother bullied me. Punched me. Kicked me. Cursed me out. And even went on to the extremes of telling me how much of a pain I was to the family. From there, my, li my life was pointless. Ruined. Dismantled. I was left out to cry and think of the words my brother would say to me. Think of all the things my brother would say to me. And the saddest part for me is I never got into the party. What's even worse than that is no one came to help me. I was stuck in the rain and a few minutes later I decided to run, run, flee, and cry about the things my brother had done to me. It was literally the worst day of my life. I knew my brother was mean, but I never knew he was meaner. Tabby, I'm... I'm sorry this happened to you. I'm sorry your brother did that to you. I'm, I'm sorry that I wasn't there to help. Don't worry, Candy. It wasn't your fault. I guess I wasn't tough enough back then to deal with my own problems. I'm sorry, Debbie. But luckily... I had an idea, a very brutal idea. It was crazy, but I felt like I had to. What? There's this TV show I used to watch as a child called The Red Bones, where basically it's a scenario where someone tries to find out who the murderer is as a murderer goes around her house killing people and just by watching that TV I have gotten a plan I found a way to get rid of my brother once and for all to get revenge and to erase so as time went by my brother looked a lot more different than me but what was about to be different was the amount of brothers that were in the family. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, it was... <sighs> a pretty brutal death. But before I killed him, I overheard him say something. Something that was very offensive to me. What did he say? said just a note to myself if I ever come back from the dead for whatever reason I'll make sure that my so-called brother dies in the hands of my power well that won't be happening anytime soon since I'll be killing you first what That's what got me sent to juvenile for a whopping 25 years. As we all know, juvenile's uh, basically a jail for kids or prison. And I didn't like it at all. But wait, weren't our parents away at that time? 
how would our parents know about your brother's death and how you killed him? When our parents got back from vacation, because, well, we could take care of ourselves back then. My dad was cutting the lawn because it needed, it needed cutting. But what he found there surprised him, mom, possibly you, and me too. My dad has found where I hid my brother under under where the tree is now. You mean the only tree in the backyard? Yeah, where the tree is now. But the tree wasn't there back then. My dad got furious. And so did my mom a little. And my dad had called the police. Let's put it juvenile. I tried to run away one time, but it didn't work. I couldn't run away away from the police but you know what after all these years after all the time spent with my brother I'm glad he's gone sure I'll, I was put at punishment but you know what at least at least now I got a reward a reward what are you talking about the reward of getting rid of a meme-like brother.